Okay, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay, guys, so this is what I'm going to do for you guys. It is right now 5.26 p.m. Um, and I don't know if you hear, let me turn this fan off. So can you guys hear that? I just plugged in my new generator. Um, let's go have a look. Um, so what I did is I put in a gallon of gas, a, a gallon of gas, exactly a gallon of gas, in my Champion 3500 watt dual fuel generator. So I just stepped out the door. So I, you, you know, because a lot of people use the sound meter, and I don't know what the hell. That means 7.2 decimals, 5.2 decimals. That just sound like a bunch of crap. So what we're gonna do is is so let's do this type of measurement on the sound first of all. We're gonna close the window. Um, you can hear the tell. Hey, son. You can hear the television. Okay. So we're walking up to the sliding door. You can hear it coming through the window, but you cannot hear it coming through the sliding door. We're gonna, so now that we step out, we can definitely hear it. And as we get closer, you can tell the sound. This is up close on it. We put a gallon of gas in there and come on up we're gonna see I'm gonna pause this and when I hear it die then we're going to check and see what time it is and exactly how many real time real world run hours we get okay so Right here you can see the generator right outside my bedroom window. And this window's open because of my my air conditioning system I have right here set up. So um I almost want to run an extension cord out there and see how long it would run this air conditioner, but I'm not gonna do that. Because while we're camping, we're not going to be burning anything over 3,500 watts. So, I'm going to pause this. And I will get back to you when that is done. Okay, so, I want you to know that you haven't been left hanging. Um, we started at, at 5.30. It's now 7.01, so it's been an hour and a half that it's been running continuously. Um, we plugged in a shop light. A minute after we, we turned it on, we moved it. So it would be right outside the door. And I can hear it when it cuts off. So that's what it's like really close up to you. Um, let's do a test and go back some. Well, it's going to echo in the room, I believe. So, we're not going to be able to get away from that. So, here, let me give you a quick test like this really quick before it shuts off. So, that's um, at the back of the apartment. There's the front door to the apartment. Um, you can just barely hear the echo of it, of the sound waves coming over the ceiling. Can you hear that? But if I walk back right here to the edge of the garage, you can no longer hear it. 
So from here, I can hear it. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure you guys can hear it too. But that's not what this test is about. I don't care if people hear it. I just want you guys to see what it sounds like. And I will be back um, as soon as it dies out. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, it's 7.49. Remember, we started the generator at 5.30 with one gallon of gas. And so, and so it's real time for me, not for you. I understand that. Um, so, you only seen we've only seen this running for less than five minutes and I've actually seen it for two and a half um, two and a half hours on three the neighbors outside are looking all irritated Okay, guys. So to finish this video, we went ahead and cut it at two and a, two and a half hours, um, and I'll show you. Just because it's getting later, towards the night time, and we're in the neighborhood, um, seven fifty one. So you can say that for sure we've got two and a half hours off a gallon of gas and sure we would have got three hours so definitely on a full tank you're, you're going to get 12 continuous hours I'm sure I would have got more um we'll take this test again when we get to the campsite all right guys signing out say bye bye